This is the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, and I've had it for the last two weeks, and it is probably my favorite creative and production tool that I own. Are you thinking of getting one, or do you already have one? Either way, I want to share with you today a list of the best productive and creative Android apps that make the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra worth having. Hey guys, my name is KJ OS, and I make tech videos that you would want to watch. Whether you're a student, a young professional, or someone who just wants to get this tablet, having the right apps and the right tools will enhance your experience. That's why I have broken down these apps into four categories. Note-taking, reading and knowledge, productivity and time management, and of course, creativity. Just a little note, by the way, every single app has been optimized for this tablet so you get the full experience. Notewise is one of the first apps I downloaded on the Tab S9 Ultra. As a creator and a business owner, I have to consistently write my ideas down because they come to me at the most random times of the day, and that is one of the best things about this app. It syncs across your phone, your laptop, and of course, your tablet. The interface is clean and is not distracting in any way, and you can start writing in seconds and have a lot of powerful tools at your disposal, like drawing shapes, for example. So if you're in class as a student and you are have a business class or an engineering class, it can easily be done here. You can also take advantage of the multitasking features of the Tab S9 Ultra. If you need an image from any website or a Google search image, you can just drag it into your notes easily. Very nice. Microsoft's OneNote is one of the most popular note-taking apps in the world with over 500 million downloads in the Play Store. During my MBA earlier this year, I use it a lot and I noticed my classmates did too. It auto syncs with any device you own and carefully separates and categorizes your notebooks into sections and pages, with each having a different color to know what subject is which. You can insert images, you can also draw objects, but it won't give you the same drawing feature as Notewise. But overall, it's pretty good and straight to the point. Most students will gravitate towards this, especially if their school has Microsoft as a client. Let's not discount the native Samsung Notes app. You get the advantage of well being made by Samsung when it comes to features on the Tab S9 Ultra. For example, if you take out the S Pen while the screen is black, you can quickly scribble a note and it saves automatically. Either way, the Samsung Notepad is third on my list as the user interface does not really do it for me. Let's talk about reading and knowledge, and this is where the advantage of having a huge display comes in. The first on my list is DC Comics, if you love reading comic books. Now, the huge display makes it feel like you're reading an actual comic. The impressive AMOLED display brings out the colors, and it's just a great experience all around. If you also read Marvel comics or manga, it gives the same effect. If you love reading fiction, non-fiction, and all that good stuff, we have to mention Kindle. I love using the Kindle app with another app called Readwise to help me capture quotes and other information for a later time in my day or my week. These two apps are a great pair and everyone should have them. Kiplink, as the name implies, is a great app for story links to anything from articles, downloadable content, videos, and many more. Last but not the least for the reading and knowledge category, we have Shortform, the world's best book summaries. You can save quotes, ideas, motivational text that you can go back to. It might be an idea, it might be something that sparks your creativity, all that is saved in one convenient location. Of course, this should not replace reading actual books, instead both things should work in tandem with each other. So the first on the productivity and time management list is TikTok, an app that I have been using since 2020. It is a to-do list app with a few extra features. It's just so simple and the color themes resonate with me more than most. It also has this Pomodoro technique, you know, 25 minutes working and a five minutes of rest. It also has white noises to help with productivity and helps its users focus for a longer period. I highly, highly recommend this to anyone struggling to get their shit done. Todoist, just like TikTok, is another to-do list app and planner, so to speak. You can simply put a task or reminder and it smartly inputs that into your calendar. This is also great for teams and delegating tasks for projects. I will say, I kind of prefer the interface on this app than TikTok. The red and white is more compelling. Now, the downside though is the pro version is more expensive, coming in at $60 for the year to TikTok's $38. Google Calendar, yes, Google Calendar is the most underrated calendar app. 
most people don't use it a lot and that's just a shame. From setting meetings and events to being integrated with Gmail so it automatically adds events from your calendar thanks to Google's AI software features. And speaking of Gmail, you can see your calendar from your email and share your entire calendar with anyone in your network. There really isn't much to complain about when it comes to Google Calendar. Definitely a must to have. Okay, let's talk about creating and creativity. And if I'm being honest, this is my favorite aspect of owning a tablet. Now, I've been on YouTube for the last three years, and these apps have helped me every step of the way since inception. Now, the first is Canva. I see Canva as a replacement for Adobe Photoshop if you do not know how to use the latter or you do not really have the time to learn it. It simplifies design for the average consumer and it has a template for everything. You want to create an Instagram post or stories? They have you covered. Do you want to create a design for your presentations? They have a million and one templates and I'm being literal. As someone who makes a lot of YouTube videos, I use this for my thumbnails if I do not want to dabble with Photoshop, if the thumbnail is just text and a few other things. Fun fact, I used Canva to design the thumbnail for this video. Now, if you're a creator of any kind, I highly recommend Canva. When it comes to editing pictures I use for my thumbnails, Adobe Lightroom is where it's at. Again, the huge display takes full advantage of this app as you can see your pictures in great quality and detail. You can zoom in to get those fine details done, add lots to your images, and many more. Lastly, we have Mojo. Mojo is an app I use for when I want to have stylized text on my screen in any shape or form. It has different styles and genres and you can edit it however you want and it is very intuitive. It also has different templates for social media posts like Canva does and it is a great experience overall and these three apps will serve you well for years to come. Of course, there are a million other apps that you can use out there, but these are just a few that I use on a daily basis and feel will bring immense value to you guys. That being said, do you guys use any of these apps? Which is your favorite app? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. It is still surreal that 10,000 humans are subscribed to this channel. Now to celebrate, let's see if we can get this video to what is the most realistic number that I can think of? Okay, 1,000. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll do another video like this for the iPad. Again, thank you guys for watching. My name is KJOS and I'll catch you guys in the next one.